Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my third video about beam management procedures in 5G networks. In this episode, I will tell you about beam recovery. In my previous episodes, we have already covered such topics as uh, beam sweeping, beam switching, beam refinement. So, uh, why we need beam failure detection and beam failure recovery? Actually, in real 5G networks, in real radio environments, user equipment can experience uh, very fast shadowing, uh, very fast uh, drops of uh, quality of signal. And in such cases, beam switching procedure uh, sometimes cannot work it out, cannot help the system to switch to another beam. So in this case, user equipment and network should understand that there is a beam failure and uh, uh, this should be the special procedure in order to recover. Okay, let's look at um, here description. Beam failure detection consists of next things is measurements and filtering. So it means that user equipment monitors uh, SSB candidates, uh, SSB blocks, uh, CSI RS narrow beams and if uh, quality of signals is lower than special pre-configured threshold and usually such threshold uh, corresponds to hypothetical 10% of block error rate for PDCCH channel. This is just a correspondence, this is just a hypothetical. So uh, if the quality of signal is lower than such threshold within special pre-configured time and such cases mark layer can count many times again special pre-configured uh, mark counter work so only in this case system can understand that uh, there is a beam failure detection so again, uh, three uh, conditions should work here. Uh, quality of signal is lower than threshold within special time and such cases should be not just one. It can be two, three, four times. It can be configured. And only after this, uh, user equipment start beam failure uh, recovery procedure. Beam recovery can be based on uh, contention-free random access procedure and contention-based random access procedure. Uh, contention-free random access can only be uh, can also be used for uh, handover cases, for example, not only for uh, beam failure recovery. Uh, so, what does it mean contention-free random access? It means that uh, user equipment was pre-configured with special uh, dedicated preambles for such cases and user equipment send a recovery request so it means uh, the such pre-configured preamble to G node B to 5G base station and 5G base station uh, send back a response with um, PDCCH channel which is uh, uh, scrambled with new cell RNTI and if user equipment can receive and understand that this is PDCCH with new cell RNTI only after this uh, we can say that um, in this uh, time beam failure recovery completed successfully so uh, there can be many attempts again it can be uh, configured I mean random access attempts. If, uh, uh, so if um, uh, the number of attempts is uh, uh, more than it was configured, only in this case uh, user equipment can send report to uh, RRC level. 
So if unsuccessful, if unsuccessful beam failure recovery, only in this case, user equipment send identification to RRC level. And it says that there is a radio link failure. If such procedure is successful, RRC level doesn't know anything about it. So again, uh, beam refinement, beam switching, uh, beam sweeping, uh, beam failure recovery is all about just a physical layer and MAC layer, mainly in most of the cases. Only uh, in case of unsuccessful recovery, uh, RRC level can understand that it was uh, unsuccessful attempts to recover uh, such uh, beams. So it was my short lesson about uh, beam management, about beam failure recovery in 5G networks. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel and wait for more uh, new and interesting videos in my channel. So goodbye.